Live EV on Tuesday, March 15, 2016 We all know which dramas build a lot of buzz and generate monster viewer numbers, but, as anyone who's watched a lot of dramas knows, sometimes the most popular dramas aren't always the best dramas. I'm not going to name any names here, but you know who you are. We've shared the 20 most popular dramas of all time on Drama Fever, but what about the ones viewers enjoyed most? If you're looking for a solid watch that other drama lovers like yourself adored, we've compiled a list of the highest rated dramas of all time on Drama Fever. These are the shows with the highest average star ratings from Drama Fever viewers, all of them averaging over 4.5, 5 stars. We didn't choose these rankings, you, the viewers did, check out the list to see if you missed some hidden gems. Note, I recognize that the star ratings may include low score outliers for things unrelated to the drama, but every show will have some of those outliers, and the scores tend to even out as you get thousands of ratings, 20, Coffee Prince, Korea, NBC, 2007, starring Yoon Yoon Hai and Gong Yoo, one of our most popular dramas, this romantic comedy tells the story of Han Kyul, the handsome son of a wealthy hotelier family who is set in his bachelor ways and constantly deflects his family's attempts to make him commit. The constant pressure to get married drives him to hire a goofy young delivery boy Yoon Chan to pretend to be his gay lover to scare away his family's setups. Trouble starts when Han Kyul begins to get to know the hard-working and lovable Yoon Chan, and begins to develop real feelings for him, only to discover that, he, is actually a girl disguised as a boy. A rare drama that deals with homosexuality, this controversial series received multiple awards, such as the 2007 NBC Acting Awards for Yoon Yoon Hai and Gong Yoo, as well as Best TV Drama Award at the 2008 Korean Producers Awards. 19. City Hunter, Korea, SBS, 2011, starring Lee Min Ho, Ez, and Park Min Young This intense beautifully shot romantic thriller loosely based on a manga of the same name by Su Ka Se Ho Jo, is a revenge drama done right. In 1983, 21 South Korean military operatives are sent into North Korea on a secret mission. After completing their mission, they are executed by their own side in a government cover-up. The sole survivor, Lee Jin Pyo, watches as his closest friend dies beside him. Taking his friend's son under his wing, Jin Pyo raises him as his own and trains him with one goal, to take revenge on the men responsible for this massacre. Some 20 years later, a brilliant young man joins the international communications team of the Blue House, Korea's White House. Lee Yoon Sung has but one mission in mind, to find and bring down the five men responsible for the murder of his father. To do so, he must hide his identity and fighting skills to infiltrate the government. During his quest for revenge, however, he also enacts justice, and is given the nickname City Hunter by the populace, who knows only of a shadowy figure exposing corruption in their city. Torn between his surrogate father's drive for vengeance and the innocent girl he loves, Yoon Sung must fight to survive, and choose the path he will take. 18. Pinocchio, Korea, SBS, 2014, starring Park Shin Hai and Lee Jong Suk amidst a sea of young news reporters competing for the next scoop. Choi In Ha, Park Shin Hai, finds herself in a tricky position, as she cannot tell a lie without a dead giveaway, breaking into a violent hiccup. Meanwhile, first year reporter Choi Dalpo, Lee Jong Suk, proves his remarkable memory and communication skills by downplaying his good looks with a dumpy veneer of bad hair and clothing. But in a world where hard facts rule, how far can you get by lying? 17. My Lovely Samsung, Korea, NBC, 2005, starring Kim sun ah and Hyun Bin, brisk, endearing, and completely addictive, My Lovely Samsung was the runaway mega-hit of 2005. The show's popularity launched Kim sun ah to superstardom and introduced Korean-American actor Daniel Henney. Considered the Korean, Bridget Jones' diary, this refreshing drama still finds new audiences today. At 29, Kim Samsoon's career and love life have hit a dead end. She is overweight, unmarried, stuck with an embarrassingly old-fashioned name, and has just lost her job and caught her boyfriend of three years cheating on her. Er Hyun Jin Hyun, the arrogant 27-year-old owner of a restaurant called Bon Appetit, who hires her to put her pastry chef's skills to work as the restaurant's chief baker. With Jin Hyun's family breathing down his neck to get married, and Sam soon desperately in need of money to save her family home, the two strike up a deal despite their volatile relationship. Sam soon masquerades as Jin Hyun's girlfriend and they begin to grow close, but things get complicated when Jin Hyun's lost love mysteriously returns with her sights set on getting him back. 
Will Jin Hyeon be able to forget about her and learn to love Samsoon for who she really is? 16. School 2015 Korea, KBS, 2015, starring Kim So Hyun and Nam Joo Hyuk Lee Yoon Bai. Kim So Hyun, a student at Gangnam's top high school, suddenly and mysteriously wakes up with total amnesia. However, when she discovers she was once cruelly bullied, Yoon Bai becomes determined to right the wrongs of her past by transforming herself into a popular and glamorous girl. But along the way, she begins to recover fragments of her memories that slowly reveal the insidious truths of Sagang High School. 15. Gu Family Book Korea, MBC, 2013, starring Lee Sun Gi and Bae Su Ji, Suzy, when Yoon Chwa Lee Yun Hee falls for Gu while Ri Young, Choi Jin Hyuk, the guardian spirit of the Jiri Mountains, they doomed love quickly blossoms in the form of their child, Kang Chi, Lee Sun Gi. As a newborn, Kang Chi is sent down a river, and is raised amongst humans. Life is normal as he works for Park Musol, UHM Hyo Sup, at the Hundred Year Inn, until he realizes his otherworldly nature, he's neither completely human, nor a true